Hey guys, so as you may know, I do a lot of videos on Synology uh, applications or just setting it up in, in general, but uh, it's finally come to the point where I'm running out of space. Um, right now I have uh, four six terabyte drives in here. I could upgrade those drives, but I wanted something a little bit beefier, something I could expand even more. And so I got the 8-bay DS1821+, Plus, which I'm extremely excited for. This guy's running a Ryzen CPU in here. It's got four gigs of RAM standard. It's got two NVMe slots that I can put some drives into as well. So I'm really excited to get this guy going. But today we're gonna do a migration from this guy to this guy. But make sure this guy's up to date. You can do that in the control panel in the settings. Uh, check that and make a backup of your configuration as well. So make sure that you do have a backup of your data. Um, it is not guaranteed that it's going to just work right out, right out the box. So before you do swap it, make sure there's a backup. If you feel comfortable in doing it, go ahead and try it. Uh, but what we're gonna do here is just take each one of these drives out. This one here, this is the uh, DS415 Plus. Just pull the tab up, pull this guy out, and there's the drive. And then for the other Synology, just move that over. This guy right here. I'm super excited to use it. You can see there's all the I.O. ports. It's got four Ethernet cables there, about three um, 3.0 USBs, and then two eSATAs right there. So let's go ahead and open one of these up. We'll click on the bottom and pop it right out. And it's super easy to, uh, to install the drives into the tray. All you need to do is pull this little tab here. So I can get this guy out without breaking my nail. There we go. Pull that tab out, tab out, slide the drive right in here, and then it clips in place. So I'm gonna go ahead, do all of the drives, which is only four, and then we'll get right back to it. All right guys, so all four drives are now in here. What we're gonna do is get this plugged in and powered on. And then what we'll do is we'll jump back on the machine and do the migration. All right guys, so we have our Synology plugged in and online. Uh, we are now uh, finding the Synology by going to find.synology.com. And what that does is it searches your network and it finds the uh, device on your network. So as you can see here, we have, uh, it shows the server name. It shows migratable as a status on the bottom. If we hit this little arrow on the right, it just shows another IP address. It's basically just seeing both of the, um, the NICs attached to the network. So we'll just go with the first one. We will hit connect. We will agree to the terms here. Hit next, continue. And now it's popping into this web assistant here. So we'll give this a moment and perfect. This is exactly what we want. So it's going from a DS415 to our DS1821 plus. We want it to migrate. We hit that migrate button. Keep data in most settings. That's exactly what we want. We could do a reinstall of the Synology NAS and keep my data, but we don't really need to do that. We're gonna keep it the exact same as it is. Hit next, install latest DSM. Install now. And we will give this a few minutes and pop right back into it. All right guys, and we're back up. So as you can see here, um, I had to browse to the old IP address since it picked up the new, um, or the old configuration, it picked up the old IP address. I browsed to it as soon as I heard it beep. So now we can log in. And that's it, and so we are in. So as you can see here, we have our full volume to the right. It is healthy. Um, everything is set. Let's just double check that the, um, the update has been completed. Yep, we are on the most, recent version of DSM. And that's pretty much it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you could, please hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe, that would really help us and have a great day.